draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Byron Jones. Oh. Defensive back. He was on the field. I saw him. He didn't get to him, but he was there. Byron Jones from Hard Hitting New Britain. Well, guys, a lot of us don't watch a lot of UConn football, <laughs> but Kevin is very excited at the notion of the Cowboys selecting Byron Jones, cornerback from the University of Connecticut. So, Kevin, tell us, why is this such a good pick? Well, yeah, e excitement to see Byron Jones go because I like the player. Unfortunate to see where he's going. Uh, he made more sense here than Landon Collins for the reason that he started out as a safety and he still has the potential to play that position. However, he's now made the move to cornerback where he uses that si that same exact size to, to really bully these receivers. And when you're, if you're watching the draft at home, they're showing his outstanding combine. He broke world records during the broad jump. The kid is the definition of an athlete. And can you can put him at corner or safety, and he can be a factor. Yeah, he really brings a lot of versatility to that Dallas Cowboys defense that we all know has his struggles at times, and he's only going to make this defense better. And they need to do the cornerback at this at this pick, and I think this is a great pick and a really solid position film film in, in this pick. Well, a lot of positivity and encouragement from this from our this new player for the Dallas Cowboys. But guys, I think when you look at the Cowboys, and you would expect them to build off of what they did last year. And it's kind of funny how they started off with that disastrous loss to the 49ers and really <coughs> never looked back from there. But they lose DeMarco Murray. They retain Des Bryant on the franchise tag. So guys, let me ask you, where do the Cowboys go next season? Hey, hey, hey they go all behind their offensive line, and their offensive, offensive line was outstanding. Don't get me wrong, DeMarco Murray is a great player, but he was really a fulfillment from that offensive line. And he shown flashes of stardom like in recent years, but last year is their first year that he was great because he was healthy and because he had a great offensive line. And I think they're going to still have a great season. They're going to win that division, in my opinion. I uh, can't agree with you for a lot of reasons. One, you're an Eagles fan. Yeah, one obvious one, but, but let me explain this to you. DeMarco Murray was a legit running back before that offensive line. And no. I think, and I think, what do you mean? No, he made it to the Pro Bowl. He, he made it to the Pro Bowl. He was not the best running back in the league. He made it to the Pro Bowl, though. No. Uh, if you make it to the Pro Bowl, you're legit. And people bought a little bit too much into that hype. And you need to pay attention here that without DeMarco Murray, that team is nowhere near as good as they were. Oh, they he, was great. he was MVP for the first half of that season. Not even a debate. Not even a debate. And the offensive line had a lot to do with that. His numbers had a lot to do with that. Yeah, hey, because of the offensive How? line. So, so, so when this year, when you have... Battle or Randall taking taking their reps. We'll see how good this Dallas Cowboy team is when Tony Romo has to throw all those bombs and Des Bryant's double covered. And guess what happens? Turnover after turnover after turnover. So, this uh, this draft is not over yet. Uh, we got surprised. the commissioner coming up. Uh, so let's get this shifted right fast.